The soap can smell your fear. You can, yeah, you know, wash your fear away with the soap. How did you decide to make soap? Uh, I actually, uh, I had wanted to for a while just because it interested me, and then I randomly at a coffee shop, someone introduced me to someone who made soap, and I, and she had told me, she's like, it's way easier than you think. Four ounces of oil into a pan. You may use any oil that you'd like. This is the last eight ounces. I'm going to do it over here in this corner, but if you're standing very close, when you mix the lye in the water, if you inhale the vapors, it can make you go like... Which one do you push? Use the one in the far left. There you go. I'll put it on the right, There's a hood. It's a veritable hood. Oh, yeah. Should I, maybe, maybe I'll just do it on two until we, like, need to mix it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is take 10 ounces of water. Wow. What you want to use is a nice DC tap water. <laughs> On the right pH, the right mineral content, the right light content. The lead makes it nice and smooth and mm -hmm. good weight. Sometimes if you get low. Pure lye. Sodium hydroxide. So why is the ice Poison. It's gonna once we mix the lye in the water, it's going to shoot up from the chemical reaction to like 220 something degrees. Oh. And then it'll take forever to fall back down. So we're going to, uh, we're going to use the ice bath to speed that process up. I'm going to <laughs> Hydroxide, pure lye. If you're making, I bought this at a. You can get it at True Value, like any hardware store. You can't get it at Lowe's or uh, Home Depot because people use it to make masks. But you can use it for garden, right? To get yeah, you can do that. You can clean toilets, or you can poison people. With it. <laughs> um, so we're gonna use five ounces of crystal lye. If you want to make soap, like liquid soap, like. Uh, Something you would use as like hand soap, you would use potassium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide. Yeah. Okay. So what are you going to do with this? So this is going to get mixed with the water, and this is the part where if you have uh, respiratory diseases, stay away. Um, I'm taking that is a that is like yeah, that's a lot some of high molarity sodium hydroxide. Yeah. 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 And you sing, this is how we stir the life, stir the life, stir the life. <laughs> Put that in half an hour. Uh -huh. And we all know see that when I put this in here, pH 25. Yeah, I wish I could. So I'll put this in here. Wrap. Plastic bag. We have aluminum, we have plastic bags, we have got Ziploc bags. Or plastic wrap. Ooh, plastic wrap I think works the best. I'm sorry, I should have brought some myself. Oh, it's no. on the floor, it's not by, right? No, that's, I think that, that was from the ice. That was me moving yeah, the ice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so. We will not melt the floorboards with the lock. I'm gonna line my box. The Sudsy Sloth <laughs> soap company. Someone was kind enough to decorate my box. The Sudsy Sloth. Actually, I'll probably do it in two seconds. So when's most of the action going to be done? It'll all, this will all be over in like 10 minutes or okay. so. So now that that's at like 120, this is just something I've kind of like learned. I'm going to turn the oil on. And like, I like to just like juice it with some like pretty serious heat for a minute. 
um, and then turn it right off. Do you put another thermometer in? Yeah, that I'm going to. So I'll take this. You can, you can kind of like that's the nice thing about having the ice is you can with the You can control the reaction. So I'll take that out. Now it jumped up from like you know to going back up in temperature again, but that's fine because like it's harder to get the oil mm -hmm. right and it's easy to get the lye back down. Saponification is a process of hydrolysis, so it's at the molecular level, water and lipid and fats are coming together, basically, is like in a nutshell. I could go on about um, cation exchange, um, mm -hmm. but I just, it's all very boring to me. So tell me more. Positively charged. <laughs> so do you have a... <laughs> Positively charged cations. <laughs> Alright, so we just gotta let this come down a little bit now. So they both have to be 110. That's the ideal yeah. temperature. Yeah. Is there like um, a window of variability? Yeah. If, if you like, if one's like off by like five or so degrees, I've never had a, soap, a batch of soap fail. The oil up to like 95 and I'll be like, oh, it's just gonna keep rising to like 110. Mm -hmm. And it's, that wasn't really true if I was like, if I actually waited and took the temperature again, it was actually jumping up to like 130. It has these like huge like, oh, so it's, just it's very hard to control the temperature of the oil. It's a pain in the ass hole. That's like when you're making toffee or fudge and stuff, like it will like hold at a temperature and then jump and then hold yeah, at a temperature and then yeah. jump. Oh. So like I actually feel like, like I have more control meat. of like letting it come down. Yeah, it's almost like things like... Changing stages. Also, there there could be, yeah, there's some kind of reaction. There could be some it. spatial yeah. variation. Yeah. Uh, there's temporal and spatial, spatial. variation here. <laughs> yeah. um, do you have a little argument? Thank you. So just to speed it up, I'm going to put it in the ice bath. For just a bit, and we'll leave some of that in there. It doesn't even Careful. You gotta have very steady hands to do this, and a lot of testosterone. <laughs> Let me edit. Read. Huge ball. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What we're really trying to say. All men have double hernias. <laughs> this is how we wait for the temperature and the oh, they come down. Oh, they come down. Oh, they come down. All right, there we go. So it just went to 120, and I'm just kind of calling that good because of the oops, the minute more at all. That that had nothing to do with the soap making process or an accident. I actually just maliciously spilled oil on your stove because. So, yeah. Why not? Why not? The nihilist in the kitchen. Yeah. So now that's at about 110. I'm just gonna double check this one more time, but it's probably. Ooh, that's Whoa. good. Well, Whoa. no, it's it's all oh, right. We're God. gonna get it back in there for a minute. Oh no. Happening. It it jumps up. It tries oh, to jump up if you don't. One ten to like one forty. I'm like it. It tries oh, it to. Is, do it. it is like twelve molar sodium hydroxide. Well, yeah. So now that's like that was at one twenty, and it's gonna be like I know it's just gonna be like. How did you get into when? How did you decide to make soap? Uh, I actually uh, I had wanted to for a while just because it interested me, and then I randomly at a coffee shop, someone introduced me to someone who made soap, and I and she had told me she's like it's way easier than you think. And like this is the annoying part, getting the temperatures to sync up, but it really is quite easy. 113, 112, so I'm going to call this good. So what we want to do is just get the, um, where's the stick blender? I'll get my soap, gloves. Is there an outlet here? Yes, one works. Is that a shake maker? So you can use the soap after two weeks. Yeah, if you use it before then you, you may get some burns. Nothing like, you won't get serious burns, but it'll like, I used it one time, I was like a week and like five days, I'm like, I don't think you really need to wait two weeks, and then I just had like red splotches on my skin. It's, it's um, this, I'm going to put this in the sink and put some soap in it. Now, this probably takes about two, sometime, anywhere from like two to four minutes, depending on what you want. If you want to, you want to get in there tight, you can start to see what's happening. Right now, they're very like, you know, oil and vinegar, water and vinegar, oil are very... Immiscible. Uh, 
You might even say the oil is hydrophobic. It has rabies. Yeah. And now we're going to do this for about two to five minutes, and then something is going to happen that's the telltale sign that you've begun the saponification process. It's called the trace, and that is basically when they stop looking like they're separate, mm -hmm. and they get kind of like a, an oily sort of sheen almost, and then sometimes we want to try to harmonize with the immersion blender, so we go like... <laughs> This is actually a really hard one to get. Kiss five, it was torture. Five girls for the role. Five girls? It's really more of a spelt. Yes. Uh, <laughs> spelt with a sinuous spelt. So we're getting pretty close now, so actually. It's getting kind of buttery. Yeah, once you get kind of get to the spot where it like, is, it doesn't look like it's separated anymore, mm -hmm. um, you're very close. And Good. see, actually, what just happened there, sort of like when you like uniformly see like a glare come off the surface. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna call that trace. So right now we're at the perfect time to add the oil. So can you please dump in the entire vial of citronella oh. oil? I, you can take the little cap off that I'll like make it come out. What is citronella so good for you? Keeps bugs away. It, mm, no, it I think good. it just smells good. I, I don't know. This, just a I've never so field tested it. Can I pour it in? Yeah, just pour the whole thing right in there. I've never like actually tested to see whether or not it. Tell us a little bit about the history of soap making. So the first person to ever make soap was actually in 1981. Um, 1981? Um, <laughs> yeah. Listen to the man. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever I say is 100% true. I don't know, but the only thing I honestly know about the history of soap making is that it was a uh, the uh, pot ash or like fire ash was like the original source of lye. lye. Um, so they started making it in um, 1981 in Detroit. What does I do for <laughs> Detroit? So it like basically has a uniform sheen right now and starts to look like vanilla pudding. Yes. Mm, looks delicious. So we're calling that good. If you don't like someone, fling a little of this on them. So we're just pouring it into a mold which I've lined with plastic wrap. I built this mold by myself with my own bare hands. Because of the testosterone. Just talking about that exothermic reaction. Yes. There is going to be an exothermic reaction going on for the next approximately like 48 hours. So we're actually going to sort of like let it, um, you know, like sort of just be in its own heat by folding a t-shirt up over it. Hmm. I'll actually do this. Does it? Uh, we can do this. Uh, we want to do this. Mm -hmm. Do its More own like thing. It. Um, for the next uh, 24 hours is what I meant. I said 48 earlier. 24 hours, it'll. You can like wake up at three in the morning and you'll touch it and you'll feel the heat coming off of it still. So then, pretty much, uh, just uh, unscrew those and uh, the front will just fall off and then you can just pop the the whole bar will come out. It's like a you know. Big it'll be water. relatively hard. It'll be relative. It'll be yeah. It'll be solid. Yeah. Okay. Um, it'll be completely solid. It just like, you know, it's we call it soft, but that's a relative term. And then I cut, just cut it like. Yeah. So then, what you want to do is uh, put the uh, put it on the box that you've just taken it out of, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's like elevated, so you can like push down. And when your hands go down, you won't like hit a table. Mm -hmm. You don't want to try cutting like on it. If you just put the bar on the table, when you got to a certain point, your knuckles would hit before you got to the bottom, and that's usually when you like start to get like, cracks and it, like flakes off. Oh, okay. Um, so you, well, you want like a lot of downward pressure, f like straight above. Mm -hmm. So just you know, get the knife hot, mm -hmm. and then just 
try to do it in like a like you really mean it. Don't be like because if you do it tentatively, it will probably it can smell flake. your fear. The soap can smell your fear, and then you know, assuming you made bar, good bar of soap, um, up my you can smell. you can yeah wash <laughs> your fear away with the soap. Um, uh, you guys want to ever anything else? We already got my group bath. Yeah, I'm in a wash mat. Um. <laughs> so when's the group bath time? Is yeah. that next week? I have to wait two weeks. The soap can smell your fear. The soap can smell your fear. The soap can smell your fear.